Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to my channel. I am Mandy and this is my channel where I talk about things in real life. And lately that's been a lot of makeup and makeup panning so if you are interested in hearing more hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to today's video. Today we have the update for Panning Punk! Yeah! One of my favorite, favorite genres of music. Uh, this project is a Fantastic Ladies collab group project. It was created by Allie uh, at Wonder in Allie Land. Um, I hope she's doing okay. I haven't seen her post anything lately, but it's a wonderful proje project. Yeah. And um, she created it, and hopefully she'll be back soon. The project is year-long, goes from January 1st until the end of the year. It is uh, four to six prompts, rolling style. When uh, you finish her 21 prompts, you're able to bring in your own or bring them in whenever you want. It's open to people everywhere. Yeah, so just come up with a punk song and make a prompt for it and bring in a product and work on it. Set your own goals. So, I am working on a few projects, I products, and I have a few rollouts, and let's get into it. <sighs> All right, first up is um, just going down the list that I have them in order that they're on the list, is uh, for Green Day's Holiday, a holiday-themed product I went with Halloween because that's a holiday not quite the holiday I think she was going through for I think she was going for like vacation holiday but I didn't think of that when I was pulling the prompt so I went for a holiday Halloween and I brought in this Fright Night lipstick Fright Night and it is in this very dark red I am wearing it today with a gloss on top of it but this is it here and my goal is to use it 20 times over the past month I have used it three times including today bringing me to a grand total of 16 uses and I do have a paper tracking um, not a whole lot of movement though for some reason that first month I did a lot and then just from that was actually from March and then to this month just a little bit of change um, yeah, don't know why it moved a lot to start with, and then since then it hasn't, but um, that first month I used it five times, so maybe that's why, I don't know, but I've used it 16 times in this project, I have four more uses to go before I can roll that out, so that is staying in the product, project, that product is staying in. Next is for Blink182, what's my age again? What is my age? Do you know? I don't know sometimes. I do know, but I'm not going to tell. Um, so, I brought in that it prompt was for oldest product, and I brought in one of my oldest nail polishes, this guy here, Space Systems in Uranus. My goal is to use it 10 times. I've used it once this month, bringing me to a total of five uses, so I have five more to go. And I believe when I brought it into the project, it was all the way up there at that mark or the, at the bottom of that big fat line. And now we are down here. It is getting close to the bottom. I may not be able to use this five more times. I'm thinking of frankening this with another polish because as you can probably tell, there is a ton of glitter left in here, but not, I think the polish part is actually starting to um, run out, but there's still a lot of glitter. So I'm thinking I might franken it and we'll see. I will definitely let you know before I do that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Speaking of nail polish, my ne the next prompt is Take Back Sunday. Make damn sure it's a product that you are almost done with and I brought in my ultra powerful nail polish remover and it's all done. I got two uses out of it. I knew it was really close to being done and I finished it. It was probably down about here, 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 somewhere. It was almost done. I finished it. Yay! A rollout. That is all gone. 
Um, next is for Good Charlotte. I don't want to be in love. A multi-use product. And for that, I brought in, there it is, my Zum Mist in Frankincense and Myrrh. And this is a aromatherapy body and room, room and body spray thing. Um, and... Uh, my goal is to use it 20 times. I have used it eight times in the last month. Um, I do have it with me as I'm traveling and it is my basically my everyday perfume. When I'm home, I like to rotate between all my perfumes so I can, you know, get a little variety. But this is it. I didn't mark it when I brought it in, but I did mark it today and it is right there. If I did mark it, it may have rubbed off. I don't recall if I marked it previously, but there it is right there. I think it might have been right at the top of the label, but it is right right below that now. It does have a, it is a natural product, so it has oil there and then the rest of it. So yeah, I really enjoy this. Frankincense and myrrh are the scents, and yes, I will continue to use that, and it'll probably be done by the next update. Next up, speaking of done... Uh, is My Chemical Romance Welcome to the Black Parade. And that is a black shadow. And I brought in the black shadow from my Marvy Corn palette, which is now my Pan That palette. And I brought in the shade Breakdown, which is this guy right here. And I don't know if you can see, there is a dip starting in there. I use it mainly as a eyeliner, and today I even used it to darken up the outer corner. And my goal in this project was to use it 20 times. I had two uses left as of the last update, and I met those uses. So this is rolling out of this project. All right, and then lastly, I believe the last prompt that I'm currently working on is Panic at the Disco High Hopes. High Hopes um, is a product you have high hope, hopes to reach a goal on or you have a product you have high hopes for. I brought in my Disco Queen uh, uh, lip gloss. Words escape me. By Medusa's Makeup. It is this guy here. It is in the shade Bad Girls. And I do have it tapped on my lips over my Fright Night lipstick today. My goal is to use it 10 times and I've so far been able to use it three times. It is a very nice palette, uh, lip gloss, a lot of silvery glitters in there. It looks a little more, I want to say a little more blue on the lips, but that could just be the lighting. But I really enjoyed it. It has a nice vanilla cake kind of scent. So I enjoyed that. That is going to stay in for seven more uses. So we had two rollouts. The nail polish remover and the eyeshadow so that means we need to bring in two new products so let me get my self set up and we'll do that right quick all right so I have an app called spin the wheel and I have put in the prompts on the wheel and we are just gonna go ahead and spin it and see what we get That is the Sex Pistols. All right, let's see. Sex Pistols. That is God Save the Queen, a product with royal titles. That might be hard for me. Okay, we'll take that slice out and spin the wheel again. And the Clash. And that is Should I Stay or Should I Go? A Possible Declutter. Okay. Let me uh, think on these and I'll be right back with the products I choose. Okay, I am back and I have my products. That took me quite a while because products with royal titles. Disco Queen, that's the only one I could find. The, the closest, next closest one I found was Imperial Palace, which is already in another project. But then I... I almost brought in a lipstick from Lipstick Queen, but instead I'm bringing in a nail polish topper. This is from Sally Hansen's Insta Dry and Sour Patch Kids. This is called Hollow Queen. 
and I am bringing this in for five, three uses. Um, it is a very chunky, glittery topper. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. So yeah, I'm going to bring it in for three uses and see how we get on with that. It has a uh, black and orange, uh, like large hexagonal glitters. And then there's some small square hollow glitters. Um, yeah, it's a pretty chunky, uh, glitter topper, like I said, and I'm going to bring that in for three, just three uses and yeah make that work and then for should i stay or should i go from the clash a possible declutter is this burt's bees tinted lip oil in showering sunset i bought this a while ago and i've used it a few times but it seems like last time i used it it my lips had a reaction and became very chapped and irritated um, so I haven't used it since then, but I don't know, it may have been something else that caused that. So, I'm going to put this in for five uses, um, and if I use this and it causes a reaction on my lips, it is being decluttered, because I, I don't have time to have things that make my lips chapped, you know, or ir irritated, or it, the, this shouldn't do that, but it may be old. Uh, I think I picked this up on clearance, so it may be old. It may have gone off, and yeah, we'll see. I think I had a lip balm before that did that as well, so we'll give it a try. Um, but I really like Burt's Bees products, but for some reason this one, like I said, seemed to be irritating my lips, but it may have been something else. So we're going to bring this in for five uses, give it a try. If I have a reaction, it's out of here. I, I don't have time to deal with this. So that's it. That's everything for this update. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, please sit, hit the subscribe button. It means a very lot to me. A very lot. It means a lot to me. And I appreciate you very much, all of those who have subscribed. And until my next video, take care of yourselves. Bye.